so today is the first day of trying my Nespresso coffee. I'm sure I'm gonna have to tweak it and like find out the good taste, all right? Tastes like hazelnut to me. You okay? <laughs> um, yeah. So Ted and I we even bought her some new tumblers because um, not only did I donate some, but um, you know they were old anyway. So got new ones to go along with them. New machine. But yeah, it's actually pretty good. I mean, I think I could, pr I wanted to learn how to make more because it's only half of this container and I know I can make it more. Um, so I'll have to read up on that. Ooh. Charging. Let's wait for it. There we go. So, change of plans today. So now I'm getting a mini and a petty. Before and after. So done with the Manny. Ooh, can't see. So for both Petty and Manny, I just went with whites. Um, yeah, there's I had a change of plans for the day where um, an appointment got rescheduled. So I just took the opportunity to use this morning to get my mani pedi earlier in the week. Where are we going, Trina? Target! Why? Because makeup. She's into makeup! Pretty much just lip gloss. <laughs> That's it. Is that too old? Are you too young? Nah. Depends on the color. So I was thinking she wanted, you know, like things like this from like CoverGirl, whatever. What is this one? Wet and Wild, the clear shimmery looking ones. All along, she just wanted this. All right. Let me see. Oh, my little girl, she's into makeup. Oh no, what were you looking for? Oh, nails. Okay. Why are you walking like that? <laughs> and look who showed up. Daddy! Yay, made it just in time for our afternoon snack. <laughs> Good morning. I know I'm not on my regular um, car or in a car doing my morning greetings, but schedules are different, especially now that I don't go to Starbucks. So I've been trying to not go to Starbucks because I'm trying to use my Nespresso machine that um, Hubs got me this past weekend. And so, you know, it was one way to um, lessen my trips to Starbucks and to my coffee hut to get my Vietnamese coffee. So now I'm making my own. I got my new tumbler. Um, and yeah, so it saves me a trip. That saves me money. It is a Tuesday. It's not a work day. So um, it's more of 
editing and uploading for the week and um, just trying to think of some other things. I might like, not think of other things, but research on um, for an upcoming trip that I'm almost, I wouldn't say stressing about, maybe a little bit because I'm trying to plan it myself and um, yeah, I just have to research or, and I'm watching just a lot of YouTube videos on this particular country and, you know, everything that's new, what I need to do and, you know, things like that and just and all these videos are, are helpful. So I'm taking notes on my notebook. Still on Amazon. Beverly Wilson notebooks. This one's travel. Travel is my theory. Yeah, it is. And this one I have is, but first, Boba. For those Boba lovers. Um... They're heart soft cover and they're just plain notebooks and stuff. And I mean, I think they have like cute designs. Um, but yeah, so anyway, <laughs> if only you could see what my tripod is, it's my Stanley Cup <laughs> leaning on. Um, what is this? Hold on, let's look. Yeah. So my tripod was on this, leaning against a straw with the support of this. Because <laughs> I can't find my tripod anywhere here. See? <laughs> Halloween's coming up quick. Um, at least Matt has his costume ready, or almost ready. I still have to have his jeans hemmed a bit. And then Trina, she is... She always wants to be unique, which is good. Um, so her idea for a costume this year, she wants to be a tissue box and she wants to make it. And I'm like, well, you better hurry up, you know, talk to daddy, see what kind of um, ideas you guys can come up in, you know, making this happen. So <clears throat> hopefully, you know, she, they figure it out. <laughs> like during this time of Halloween and during Halloween, they on TV. Um, not that I watch a lot of TV anyway, but you know, when I do watch, you know, things on my phone, like streaming, <clears throat> you know, they do have like commercials for upcoming, you know, horror movies. And, you know, I try to, fast forward it or I look away things like that because as I mentioned in my previous vlog you know I'm trying not to watch anything scary to you know have those visions in my head especially while I'm out at work <laughs> but you know I mean I don't know if you guys have had any um experiences with spirits or ghosts or things like that paranormal activities um i have only had one and hopefully it's my last um but yeah it was it was in the philippines in 2008 so ted actually he came with me and my family and um we <clears throat> so when we we're in the philippines we we drove about like 10 hours from the city to a province <clears throat> uh, where my my mom's family's um ancestral house is at and so you know it looks it looks normal and everything it's like two stories um, so when we got there, who are, you know, the caretaker, they, you know, showed us all the rooms where we can stay. So I don't know how me and Ted, we got chosen, you know, put in this room where <laughs> when I walked in, it had a rocking chair and I don't do rocking chairs. 
I don't know. I just, I just don't, I find them creepy and, um, you know, I just don't like it, especially if it moves and no one's sitting in it. I don't like it. This one, I know off track real quick, but, um, one of our friends, they had a wedding in this, um, old mansion like whereas back i think they, it goes back in the 1800s this place and that's where the venue was and the guests or you know a few guests can stay over there so that's what we did we stayed overnight because the wedding of course is the following day and um the room we had had a rocking chair so you best believe I I just put things on that chair just to like occupy it <laughs> so it wouldn't move or, or whatever I don't know I just put like bags and clothes on it I just don't like rocking chairs I mean um I was just proud of myself that I was able to sleep in that house or mansion overnight <laughs> without going mind crazy anyway um back to the my experience <laughs> in the philippines um so anyway so there's a room that we had been placed in <clears throat> i was like oh i don't i can't stay in here i don't want to sleep here and so we're i was trying to like switch with my cousins and they're like no 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 um so no one wanted to change their room so i asked one of my aunts and her husband can we sleep in your room um because it was only gonna be one night anyway and i was like we'll sleep on the floor they're like oh that's fine you know so so ted and i because it was a 10 hour drive from the city to here um we were sleepy so we went to go take a nap and you know we already made our little place on the floor <clears throat> so we we're napping and I kind of woke up and it's like to a, a child a little girl and she was like oh you know like telling me in Tagalog oh can you come on and play you know come play with us and things like that and I was like mm, oh no right now you know I'm still tired I'll see you later right and then, um, so I went back to sleep and then for dinner, we all gathered around outside. They had prepared, you know, because there was, um, at least 18 of us, my family that drove there. And then like, I don't know, some other relatives came. And uh, so we, that's why we chose to eat outside that night for dinner. And I was like looking around and I was like, um... You know, I asked one of the, one of the family members, like, "Oh, is, is there a little girl here?" You know, and they're like, "No, you know, there's no any, no one, no kids over here. You know, they're all adults and stuff." And I'm like, "Yeah, but you know, a little girl came into our room and was like asking me to come out and play." And they're like, "No," <laughs> right? And I was like, "What?" So I went to Ted, like, I was like, "Hey, did you um?" Did you wake up when this little girl was asking me to go out and play? And he's like, no, I don't like, he didn't remember or doesn't recall anything like that. And then I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I got freaked out, right? I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so there's no kids. And I was like, oh, what the heck was that? Where'd this little girl come from? Like a stranger came from the streets or something? Like, you know, I don't think so. Not to go all the way up on the second floor. So, um, I, I didn't want to think about it, right? And then, so, I was like trying to push that out of my mind. Come the next morning, right? So, we have a driver too. So, you know, he was like, oh, um, you know, we're like, go ahead go sleep in that room that we that me and ted were gonna sleep in and then he's like okay so but the next morning we found him sleeping on the it's it's a couch but it's one of it's like a, a wood couch because that's how it is usually in the i don't know uh over there um 
maybe they have a little cushion or what, but it's not like the couches here in America, right? <clears throat> so we found him, he was sleeping on over there. And we're like, oh, hey, how come you're sleeping down here? <laughs> so guess what happened? He got scared because, or he got freaked out himself because the rocking chair started rocking. I was like, what? I go, uh, is the window open? He's like, no, the window's not open. <laughs> and so he got scared and he ended up sleeping on the wood couch. I was like, oh, see? See what happened? <laughs> I'm so glad that we changed rooms. But yet, you know, there was this little kid that wanted me to play. I don't even know where the kid is. So, um, you know, sometimes I think about it, you know, to this day, like, I think that's my only experience. Yeah, let's, let's, let's let that be the last time, hopefully. But, um, you know, I mean, the house is over 100 years old, so you, you kind of expect it, but you just don't want to really think about it when you're there, especially if you're sleeping there, right? Uh, so anyway, that was my experience. Do you guys have an experience? Let me know in the comments.